All right, here I am critiquing uh, our college film, Innocence. <laughs> Innocence, I play Josh, a very complex character. He's a bully. He's a jerk. He's mean. Wasn't hard for me to play this character because I'm already all those things, right? Uh, but Josh uh, really is just arrogant, and he's one of the cool kids, and he's out there trying to intimidate people, you know, meet girls, be charismatic, and uh, I, I got to say, I'm really proud of myself in this role. I really think I nailed it. You know, I'm somewhere between maybe a Kevin Bacon acting style and a Al Pacino, maybe not quite a De Niro, but I'm, you know, I'm I'm right there. Um, really proud of myself. I never thought I could act as well as I did in this movie, and I'm surprised. Uh, so I'll let you check it out, and we can go from there. All right. So this girl, she keeps looking at me, right? Mm -hmm. So I give her the old wink. Next thing you know, she invites me to her house for a party. So it's just us two and another couple. We start watching this movie. And the other two start making out. So I start looking around the house, and I see this picture of her with some guy in the army. And she goes, oh, that's my boyfriend. We've been together for about a year. And so uh, then she starts to kiss me. Turns out this girl has some kind of understanding with her boyfriend. You seem pretty excited about this. Oh, whatever, it was just a stupid flame. My, my favorite thing about this scene is how my friend Chad, I don't know, who the, I don't know the actor's name, okay, with the, with the glasses, the like, like yellow glasses. Clearly I'm talking to him, and he thinks it's not important what I'm saying, so he just stares at the camera blankly, which is like, come on, it's a great story. What are you doing, Chad? All right. So this next scene is iconic and very dear to my heart because we shot it directly in front of the very high school I graduated from right before I went on to college in the same town so it really brought me back to two three years whatever it was earlier shooting it um but i really think what happens with josh here is he really starts to try to push out that fake charisma he's trying to win over the girl he's trying to show off and showboat um and i really think i nailed it on this scene so i'm gonna let you guys decide leave the comments whatever you gotta do but uh let's just let's just all enjoy the sheer talent that I bring to this character, okay? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Where are you going? I'm just waiting for my ride home. How was your first day at school? Great. I really like this place. Can't wait for the football game this weekend. Oh, yeah. I want to talk to you about that. What about? Well, see, the way you got it set up right now, you're making a big mistake. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, you're not going with me? Very cute, Josh. Nice try. No, I'm serious. You should go with me. I already told Chad I would go with him. Look, you should really rethink that. I mean, you don't know Chad too well. What? What's wrong with him? I thought you guys were friends. Nothing's wrong with Chad, really. He can be aggressive, though. It's just that you shouldn't run it, rush into things. I know how things work around here. You don't want to settle for anything too fast. How about this? Let me take you to the game instead, just as friends, and I'll show you around. I really appreciate the offer, but I'm gonna have to say no. Thank you, though. You know, people notice things around here, like who you're with. Chad's not bad, but Joe is no catch. Huh? I don't get it. But you get it, he's a dork. But I thought that you guys... He just hangs out with us because he wants to be cool. I don't even talk to the kid. Well, then how could you know he's such a dork? Because he comes to class, he sits down, and he just, like looks and doesn't talk to anybody. I mean, the kid is strange. Well, maybe he doesn't talk to you guys because he doesn't know what to say. Joe's been really nice to me. He is shy, but he's so sweet. I just don't get it. Hey, what's up, guys? Nothing, just talking about some friends, right? Yeah. There's my ride, I'll go. Oh, um, Jake, yep. give my number to Chad. Here, tell him to call me about that game. Okay. See ya. What's up with you? Nothing. Let's get out of here. All right. Let's talk about what I, uh, I don't like about this scene and what I do like. What I don't like is the way my voice goes up when I say, 
how are things at school? I'm like, school. Like, like my voice goes up to like, like, uh, like a prepuce pubescent boy. How are things at school? And I really don't like that. I wish I'd go back and redo that line. Um, but I do like my six shades. Got some six shades. Got some little sideburn action. Pretty cool. Thought it looked cool. That's all I'm saying. And I love, I don't know his name. Love the dude at the end who comes in with the backwards cap just to bump me. He's just like the goofy guy has to come in and be goofy for two seconds. He comes in and he really just nails it, right? Comes in, nails it. He's like my goofy friend. Everybody's got a goofy friend. So anyway, that's the end of the uh, the two of two of my major scenes from my college movie, Innocence, and from like 2001. So this is already like 20 plus years old. Great film. Love it. Thank you for watching, guys.